Damn it, I hate jump cuts, but what am I gonna do? So, typically what happens is I go on my Facebook and somebody's posted, Hey, I've got this beer from somewhere, but one fateful day in January, I went on to my Facebook and there was all this meme shit. And it would say things like, Brace yourselves, Hop Slam is coming. Ooh, it looks like this is a three Hop Slam kind of day. Hop Slam is really good. All sorts of really clever shit like that. And it, it, it went on for, for the whole day until the moderator eventually kicked it off. So I think that was like, I don't know, in 2015 that that happened. So I didn't get any Hop Slam that year. And on a fateful day in 2016, when, during the closing of one of my favorite stores, I went in and found that they actually had some Hop Slam and were limiting the sale of it to uh, one six or a man. So I went out and picked one up and I've got to tell you, I really wanted really badly to be able to say, wow, all that meme stuff is pointless and stupid and I still kind of think it is. But at the same time, it definitely is worth the hype, sorry. The um, smell of it, let's open with that. It smells absolutely delightful. You've got uh, lots of citrus and pine with just a little bit of sweetness. This is a double IPA brewed with honey, by the way, if that's of any interest to you. And the honey part of it really adds a lot more to the IPA than I thought it was going to because that backdrop of sweetness, almost like a mead sweetness without the slightly pickled flavor that you sometimes get with mead, that vinegary taste, that really lets some of the flavors of the otherwise variously bitter hops come out that are ordinarily not really present. So when you take a sip of this beer, you're gonna have a great big wave of orange and, and grapefruit and a little bit of lemon, I think. And you have that kind of like piney taste in the middle, which is kind of my one of my favorite hop flavors, is that light pine with citrus. And it all ends with a just enough of a little bit of sweetness to let all those hops not kind of overpower your tongue. It's an excellent example of the double IPA style. It's not overbearing at all. And I absolutely love this beer. I refuse to drink it quickly. I basically, I will sip on this thing all night. So for me personally, I give it a five star rating. And not only do I do that, but I also give it my cut above rating. So for me, five stars, a beer that's five stars is a beer that everybody should try. Even if you don't ordinarily like IPAs, you should try it if you happen to have someone around who can give you some to take a drink out of. And even if you don't necessarily have a five-star experience, I can pretty much guarantee that not everything about it will be miserable. And I give it the cut above rating because, frankly, in my opinion, it's one of the better beers that I've ever had that I would rank five stars. And that concludes my review of the Bell's Hop... Uh, <laughs> the Bell's Hop Slam. And I highly recommend it to everybody. Cheers.